Madam President, ladies, gentlemen, and colleagues. It is an honor and a great pleasure to present to you Punsok Wangyal. Punsok Wangyal is the chairman of the Tibet Foundation, a UK charity that has made a significant contribution towards the education, healthcare, material well being, and cultural vibrancy of Tibetan communities across Asia. Mr. Wangyal has a remarkable biography during the entire course of which he has served his country and its people with tireless perspicacity. Born in Tibet in 1944, Punsok became a monk and studied Buddhism during his youth. At the age of 16, he became caught up in the widespread rebellion against Tibet's annexation to China, and in 1959, he escaped Tibet for India via an arduous overland journey. He graduated from De Delhi and Jawaharlal universities with an MA and MPhil in politics and international relations, after which he became the assistant director of the Tibetan Library of Works and Archives in Dharamsala. In 1973, Punsok Wangyal came to London, where he earned an MPhil in 1976 at SOAS uh, under the supervision of Professor David L. Snellgrove. Following the reforms in China under Deng Xiaoping, in 1980, Punsok Wangyal returned to Tibet as a member of a pivotal fact-finding mission sent at the request of the 14th Dalai Lama. The following year, he was appointed the UK representative of the Dalai Lama, establishing the office of Tibet. However, feeling that the political controversies surrounding the status of the PRC's annexation of Tibet were stymieing his efforts to simultaneously promote the welfare of the Tibetan people and the pre preservation of their cultural heritage, Punsuk Wangyal resigned from involvement in politics to found the Tibet Foundation in 1985. As chairman of the Tibet Foundation, Punsuk Wangyal is probably the most effective, energetic, and beneficial person working in the charity sector on Tibet-related issues. For nearly 30 years, the Tibet Foundation has worked in the areas of education, healthcare, economic development, and cultural revitalization. The foundation has funded the education of Tibetans both within the PRC and abroad, supported the creation of small businesses, provided disaster relief, as well as medical training and treatment. In addition to these humanitarian efforts, the foundation has brought dance and music troops from Tibet, India, and Mongolia to the UK, promoted the preservation of traditional Tibetan architecture, and funded and overseen the cataloging of all Tibetan Buddhist paintings in Mongolian collections, has also sponsored hundreds of Mongolian students uh, to study Tibetan Buddhism in monasteries in India. In recognition of these accomplishments, in 2009, Punsuk Wangyal received the Friendship Medal from the President of Mongolia. All of the Tibet Foundation's efforts are carried out with the explicit blessing of its patron, the Dalai Lama, and with the full consent and participation of relevant governmental authorities, including those of the PRC. In the atmosphere of increased tensions following the 2008 Tibetan uprising, the Tibet Foundation is one of very few charities to operate with its activities uncurtailed. This rare circumstance is, credible, cred, uh, is creditable to the tact and diplomacy of Punsa Gwangyal and the years of effort, effort he has invested on the ground. Madam President, it is my privilege now to present Punsa Gwangyal for the award of an honorary fellowship of the school and to invite him to address this assembly. Madam President, distinguished guests, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply honored that the school should grant me this award, and it is with a considerable delight and a profound gratitude that I receive it. I believe this is in recognition of my humble contribution towards the welfare of the Tibetan people and the preservation of their culture. And the such recognition reflects the communal nature of academia and the charitable work rather than one single individual. I would like to pay tribute to all those who have inspired and supported me for many years to be able to work for the benefit of those needing the help most. In particular, I would like to take this opportunity to pay special tribute to Mr. Hu Richardson and Professor Snegrove, who guided me through my studies at SWAS. Patrick, Mr. Patrick Gaffney, who helped me to establish the Bed Foundation, and other trustees, staff members, and the sponsors who have always been very supportive of my work. Finally, I would like to thank my wife, Riga, for unshakable support to me. With their cooperation and the dedication, Tibet could, without, without their cooperation and dedication, Tibet Foundation could not have achieved what it has in making a real difference to the life of so many people. For a very long time now, SOAS has played a symbolic role as a global platform seeking to represent and create dialogue across culture and pursuing the fair and accurate representation of some of the most marginalized and precious communities on earth. Notably, the institution had a long and engaging discourse with Tibetans. And it is with great honor that I feel recognized as part of its journey. Not only can we look back at the colorful and gracious history at the university, but also to its future as a key player in fostering cross-cultural understanding, tolerance, and awareness. I would like to make a special mention here of Professor Tadeusz Skorowski, Mr. Philip Danwood, and Dr. Nathan Hill, who have taken special active interest in promoting Tibetan studies at the source over many years. In conclusion, I pay homage to His Holiness Dalai Lama for his blessing and express my heartfelt gratitude to all those who have given full cooperation and generous support to the work of the foundation. It is my sincere hope that with this dialogue, learning and understanding, we can continue into the future and foster knowledge, education for generations to come. Madam President, thank you once again for honoring me with this award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.